Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another 311 palette of the week video. Today's featured palette is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This features 12 beautiful neutral leaning shades. There are only three shimmers and I received a heartfelt plea to do three looks with this palette and the subscriber said she was really struggling for inspiration. So I've come up with three different looks and for me personally, the row that was least utilized was this one at the top. Except for this brow bone highlight color, these cool tone shades are ones that you all know I tend to steer away from. But I challenged myself, came up a look with a look that I actually really loved using those as well as the look I'm wearing here and a more dramatic bronzy gold eye. So if you wanna see the three looks that I've created using this palette, then just keep on watching. All right, we're starting off with primed eyelids. I use the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer and going in now to the Tartlet in Bloom palette, I'm going to use these two lightest shades in the palette on a Morphe M208 and they are Charmer and Flower Child and I just dip my brush in both of those shades and now I'm applying it along the brow bone and blend it to the top of the crease and then I'm using the Sigma E40 and the shade Smarty Pants. This is the perfect crease transition shade and it is just a slightly warm neutral brown and this is going to make our deeper colors blend a little bit easier. Now going in with the small brush, this is the E21 from Sedona Lace. I'm going into the shade Activist. This is a very dark, dark brown shade. And I am putting this right into the lash line and then bringing it up ever so slightly as I get to the outer corner. And you can see I am blending towards the center because I don't want to bring that color up too far. Now I'm taking the Morphe M506 and the shade Rebel, and I am using this shade to soften that darker shade just a little bit and to add just a little more intensity here in the outer corner without it getting too dark. And I'm just taking my time pressing this right into the corner and then blending towards the center ever so slightly. And I am going to bring a little bit of that color onto the lid as well. Then I'm going to take just the tiniest little amount of the Deep Shade Activist and use that to further blend these two darker shades together. You can see it just kind of creates a really nice gradient there in the outer corner. Now I'm taking the Sigma E60 and this beautiful shimmery bronze shade, it's called Firecracker. And I am first gonna start off applying this dry with a dry brush and you'll see it applies pretty well. It is a pigmented shade, but you don't get quite as much shine and metallic uh, finish as if you wet your brush or use your finger. So first I go in with my finger just to show you the difference that that can make applying this shade. And you can see that added a little more intensity. So I'm gonna leave it there for the moment. And now I'm gonna go back to the E40 and a little more of Smarty Pants and just softly blend the edge of that shimmer shade just to make sure there's no harsh line. I'm going back to the EB21 and again, just further softening that deeper shadow along the lash line. And then I decided I wanted a little more brightness in the center of the lid. So first with my finger, I am applying Funny Girl. And this is a really pretty soft champagne color. And you can see by putting that right in the center of the lid, just brings a little more light there. But I decided I wanted it even brighter. So I'm spritzing an E60 brush with MAC Fix Plus and I am tapping that dampened brush over the center first of that shade. And that did intensify it a little bit, so then I decided to go back to Firecracker, wet my brush, and intensify the bronze shade as well. So I'm intensifying that on the outer edge and the inner part of the lid, and then flipping over that brush and using Funny Girl with that damp brush on the center. And you can just see how much more vibrant that shade becomes when you apply it wet. 
Then I'm just taking the E40, no additional product, just to further blend and soften that crease. And now going in with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is the shade Brownie. I really like this shade. It's a dark brown, but it doesn't look black. So it's a little less intense than uh, Demolition from Urban Decay or other, um, the waterline shade in Rail that I like to use. So I use that in the inner rim. And then I'm taking the Morphe M432 and a little bit of Rebel and pressing that right below the lashes just to further blend that eyeliner pencil into the lashes. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. smudge brush and some of Firecracker and I'm going to spritz my brush. You're going to see this as a theme throughout all of these looks. And I'm using that shade over the top of those shadows that we put down there on the lower lash line. And I just liked that little bit of a hint of shimmer and shine below the lower lashes. Then I'm taking a little bit of Funny Girl on that same dampened brush and spritzing it again. And I'm going to use this a little bit closer in, um, kind of below where we placed that shade and then going in towards the inner corner on the lower lash line. Now going in with a Morphe M433, I'm doing a combination of uh, Smarty Pants and Rebel. I just wanted a little more warmth here in the outer corner just to make those colors blend a little bit better in the outer corner. So just making sure everything looks soft, blended, and then it was time to add just a little more liner to the upper lash line. So I'm using, this is a different brush than I usually use. This is the Morphe M165 and I'm using that shade Activist just pressing that right into the outer portion of the upper lash line. I'm not using any other liner up here today for this look. So just wanted to darken that a little bit. Now we definitely needed to clean up. So I cleaned up under the eye, added concealer. Now it's time for blush and I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Seduce. This is such a pretty neutral shade. I love this blush, especially in the summer. I'm using the E4 from Morphe just to apply that. And I like to go slow, build these blushes up just slowly because they are quite pigmented and do last on the cheeks all day. So I do love these blushes. Now going in with the, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. This is an iconic classic shade and I love this especially in the summer when I have a little bit of a tan. So applying this along the cheekbones, across the top of the bridge of the nose, and then my Cupid's bow of course. Then going back to our palette, I'm going to use a little bit of Charmer on my pinky first just to lighten that inner corner. And then I'm going to go over the top of it with a little bit of a shimmer shade. So I'm going to go back to that shade Funny Girl and apply this over the top of that white shade. And that just kind of makes it look a little bit brighter than it would be on its own. Then taking the Sigma E30, just going to blend that out. Make sure that inner corner highlight blends into the rest of the shades. And then I went around my lips with the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And then for a lip liner today, I'm using the L'Oreal Lip Liner in Matte Stermine. <laughs> I love this shade. It is such a great neutral shade and very soft and pigmented. For a lipstick, I'm using the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi lip product in the shade Honey. This is a new shade for them. And you can see this is a little more of an apricot brown shade. And then I went over the top of it with this limited edition buxom lip gloss in the shade Aphrodite. And you can see it just lightens it up a little bit and adds the perfect amount of shine. And here's our finished look. I love this bronzy eye. Brings out the color of my eyes paired with my olive jacket. Just a great look for summer. Now going on to look number two, as always, we're starting off with the Smashbox eyeshadow primer in a combination of Charmer and Flower Child on the Morphe M208. I'm bringing this all along the brow bone and to the top of the crease, I'm going to now add a little more of Flower Child. 
So just bringing this through the crease. I knew I was going to be using cooler tone shades today, so I wanted to make sure I had an easier time of blending. Now taking the M504 from Morphe, I'm taking Sweetheart through the crease. And this looks a little pinker in the palette than when you apply it to the eyes, but it still has a little hint of some pink and warmth that I needed before going in with Jet Setter. Jet Setter is a cool tone taupey gray color and about a mid-tone, so it does work in the crease, but I loved it paired over that Sweetheart shade. So I'm taking this all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner and then taking the Morphe M433 and more of that Jet Setter shadow. I'm going to slowly now build this in the outer corner. So I'm placing my brush in the outer corner and then blending with circular motions towards the center. I'm not bringing this all the way through the crease this time, just really concentrating it here in the outer corner. I want a really nice soft gray look out here. So giving my eye a little more definition, but trying not to let this look get too out of control. <laughs> then I'm taking the Sigma E60. I'm going in with the shade next to it, which is Rocker. This is a really pretty kind of lavender silver shade. And you can see it's very soft shimmer on its own when you apply it dry with a brush just a very subtle hint of shimmer comes through. So now I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E55 and the shade next to it, Smoke Show, and this is a very dark gray. I would say it's an off black color. So I'm placing the brush, I'm using the tip of that brush just to place it that shadow into the lash line and then blending it softly towards the center. I'm not gonna be um, bringing this too far in, so I'm using this flat brush to help me keep control over this dark shade. But you can see I'm just softly blending and brushing down towards the lash line and towards the center of the lid. And I'm bringing that outer corner up just slightly towards the tail of the brow. And this is going to keep the eye looking lifted. And it is also great for those of us with hooded eyes. So you can see I'm bringing it not past the crease, but basically right up to the crease. And then now I'm feathering that shadow onto the lid. And then going back to the Morphe M433, I'm just going to make sure that edge is really nice and soft and blended. I'm going to take my finger and apply more of that shade rocker and you can see this will help intensify it. So I think all of these shimmers in this palette just apply much better with your finger or with a dampened brush. Then I'm going to take that E55 and just kind of marry those shades together and then go back to the M504 through the crease to make sure it looks really soft. Taking a little more of Sweetheart through the crease. I just wanted to make sure I had enough warmth there. And now I'm going to address the lower lash line. I'm taking Stray Dog. This is just a warm gray shade from Urban Decay. I'm not sure if this shade is still available, but any gray eyeliner will do. And I'm using that as a base and then I'm putting Rocker on an e.l.f. smudge brush and just going over the top of that liner just to make it look a little bit softer and then making sure to connect it with the outer corner there in the upper lash line. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Jet Setter, which is that matte kind of gray shade, and using that to further soften the outer edge. Now, again, using another Tarte product, I tried to find all of my Tarte products. This is not a sponsored video, but I thought, why not use the Tarte products I have? This is the Man Eater Eyeliner Pencil, and it automatically sharpens every time you put the lid back on, so it's kind of nice. But I'm using this just to add a really thin line along the lashes, and I am just bringing up that outer corner ever so slightly. Then I'm gonna go in with the M165 and some of Smoke Show, 
and I'm going to use this to kind of soften that line just a little bit so it's not a harsh black line there. And then I am going to decide here in a moment that I think I want the tail of this liner to extend a little bit further. So after applying this shadow here, making it look nice and soft, I decided, you know what? I think I need a little more liner. So I pulled the liner out and I'm just going to extend that wing just ever so slightly here in the outer corner. And then I'm going to take the Sedona Lace angled brush and use this to drag that line just very softly out. And you can see it just gives a hint of a wing out here, a very thin line and then take that same brush and a little bit of smoke show and go right over just that outer part of that liner just to set it and further soften it. Then going in with that M165, I'm going to take a tiny little bit of this along the outer portion of the lower lash line. That's it, just one little stamp and then we definitely need to clean up. So all of these shadows are a little messy, but they are really good shadows. So then I'm taking this tiny little brush and a little bit of Funny Girl. This is the M326 from Morphe, and I'm spritzing the brush and using this as my inner corner highlight. And you can see what a difference a brightened inner corner makes with this look, especially with those gray tones. I think it just brings a nice bit of light and life to the eyes. Then I'm going to take the E30 and just soften that inner corner highlight so it's not too harsh looking. And there you go. What a difference. Then for blush, I'm using this beautiful Burt's Bees blush. It's called Shy Pink and the E4. I decided I love the combination of gray and pink, so we're doing pink cheeks and pink lips with this eye look, and I think it just makes this look um, just soft and girly and feminine rather than too harsh or rock star-ish. <laughs> and then I'm using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlighter in, what is the shade, Highlight 01, and I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Brush to add this to the tops of the cheeks. I didn't want anything too shimmery, so that's why I'm using this um, highlighter today. And no chunky bits of glitter or anything in this highlighter, but it is really nice. Adds a really nice soft radiance to the skin. And then around the edge of my lips, I used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. For lip liner, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner, Suede Lip Liner in Whipped Caviar. And this is a really nice medium pink shade. There's not much brown. It's definitely pink and just is a really nice, beautiful shade. If you like pink lipsticks, you would love this lip liner paired with those lipsticks. For lipstick, I'm using the Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Lipstick, and this is the shade Crazy Beautiful. It is such a beautiful shade, and I'm so happy to be pulling this out for spring and summer. You can see just a nice medium true pink color with a little hint of some warmth. And then I blotted my lips because I wanted to go in with the Huda Beauty Strobing Lip Gloss. I believe this is the shade Angelic. I will leave it linked down below, but this just added the perfect amount of a little bit of hint of gold and shimmer. And here's our finished look. So I loved how this came together. Again, very girly um, and just a soft feminine look. For our third and final look, I'm using again the Smashbox 24 Hour Shadow Primer. And then I'm going over the top of that with the Revolution Crease cut crease canvas and I have it in the shade what is the shade it is create and I am just dabbing a tiny little bit and then using the EB 13 from Sedona lace to blend that all over the lid you can use a concealer but because this is going to be an all matte look I really wanted a clean canvas to start out with then I'm using my eyelash curler now, 
because I am going to align the inner rim of the upper lash line with my Marc Jacobs liner in brownie. And I like to do this, it's easier to do your upper rim if you've already curled your lashes. So that's why I'm doing it now. And I kind of wanted to use this as a base before I start applying my shadows so I don't mess up my shadow look later. So that's why we're starting here at the lash line first. Then going into our palette, I'm using the M208 and a combination again of Flower Child with a tiny little bit of Charmer as my brow bone highlight and blended through to the top of the crease. Just making sure I have a good decent layer of that down. It's going to make our blending a little bit easier. Then taking the M504 and Sweetheart, we're gonna do warm shades today. We're sticking mostly with that bottom row, so blending this all the way through the crease and layering this just a couple of times just to get uh, the depth of color that I want to start out with. Then going to the M433 and more of that same shade, Sweetheart. Just knowing that when you just switch out your brush, you can get a little more pigmentation. You can see I'm bringing a little bit of that along the lower lash line, the outer corner there. Keep it nice and soft. Now going in with the next shade over, which is Rebel. This is just a slightly deeper shade. It has a little bit of some terracotta tones to it, so a warm brown, and I'm really just creating a triangle here. I'm not bringing it through the crease just yet, but I'm concentrating more on making just like a triangle here up towards the brow. So again, doing that really lifted look, and this is great for those of us with hooded eyes. I'm taking a tiny little bit of this now and really making sure the edge of that shadow is softly blended. Now going in with this angled brush from Aesthetica, I'm going into the next shade over, which is Leader. And this is a really pretty uh, reddish brown shade. So it's darker than it looks in the pan. So you can definitely use it like I am here as your liner. And I'm using this along the lash line Again, kind of creating a little bit of a wing here on the outer corner with that shadow. And then I did bring this pretty much all the way across the upper lash line. And I love doing a shadow liner because it just really makes the overall finished look more soft and not quite as harsh, even though we're using a dark shadow along the lash line. It's not quite as harsh looking as a pencil liner or a liquid liner would be. Then taking that same brush and the shade Sweetheart, I'm going to use just this along the lower lash line. I'm not using a pencil down here because I want this to be just a real soft shadow along those lower lashes. Then going in with the M165, I'm going to take the tiniest little bit of Rebel right on the outer corner close to the lashes and just provide a tiny little bit more definition down there and then blend that into the upper lash line corner. So we want to make sure all that's connected. And I'm taking the M506 and just the tiniest little amount of leader and I'm going to now work on making this outer corner a little, um, a little more intense, a little deeper, but not too intense. And then I'm gonna go in with Rebel and further blend those shades together here in the outer corner. And sometimes with an all matte eye look, you have to do a little more blending than normal, but just take your time and it will pay off in the end. It will really give you a really nice soft look if you patiently blend all these shades together. So again, just continuing with a little more Rebel and continuing to bring that outer corner shade in a little bit further on the upper lash line and then taking the M433 
and a little more sweetheart through the crease just to make sure everything's really nice and soft. Now I'm taking the E55 from Sigma and Charmer and this is going to be our lid shade. So I'm bringing this about halfway across on the lid from the inner corner. And this is a really nice pigmented matte ivory shade. So sometimes these colors in these palettes, these matte shades aren't pigmented enough to do this, but this one definitely is. And I'm going to take a little bit of Sweetheart and blend that shade into those darker shades we have in the outer corner. And then just a touch of Rebel again to make sure that everything is just seamlessly blended and we have a nice gradation of color. Going back to our angled brush and a little more of leader, just making sure that lash line is nice and dark and defined and yet still soft. Now going in to my Too Faced Sugar Peach palette, I used the bronze shade there on my cheeks. I have another bronze video coming up, so that's why I use that. And then for blush today, I'm using this Tarte blush in the shade Feisty. This is almost the same color as Seduce, but just a little bit warmer. It has a little more, uh, some peachy tones to it, but I think it's still beautiful with those shadows. And then I'm using this Persona highlighter, the Cali Glow highlighter in Zuma. I wanted something with a little more gold, and this is a really pretty highlighter. You really don't need very much of this product at all. You can see it's really giving me a nice amount of glow. And then I'm gonna go back with my pinky and a little bit of Charmer on the inner corner to highlight there. And then going over the top of that with the Persona highlighter. And again, it just kind of gives a tiny little bit of some shimmer there in the inner corner while the rest of the eye is completely matte. Around the edge of the lips, as always, use my MAC Paint Pot Soft Ochre. And now for lip liner, I'm using the NYX one in Nude Truffle. This is a great uh, light to mid-tone brown color, but it does not have too much warmth. So if you don't like a warm brown liner, this would be a really great color for you. It is just a very nice nude beige color, but still enough to give you some good definition around the edge of your lips. For lipstick, another Tarte product, the Tarte Rainforest Lipsticks, and this is the shade Beach Babe. It's such a pretty color, and as we're going into summer, I mean, you can't get any more summery than a lipstick called Beach Babe. <laughs> you can see it's a beautiful nude lip color. And then over the top of it, instead of going in with a gloss like I always do, I'm using the MAC lipstick in Gel, which is a frosty gold color. And sometimes I like to do this because it doesn't get quite as goopy as a lip gloss would, and it does seem to last a little bit longer on the lips. So here's our finished look. I just love this nude lip with the all matte eye, our bronzy glowy cheeks. I think this is a perfect look for summer. Thank you as always so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.